in every sport there is weight transfer, in every sport there is energy creation and then subsequent release uh, of that energy. Unfortunately, the golf swing is subject to a great deal of analysis, most of it prejudiced, most of it trying to sell particular systems and most of it misleading uh, to, the, to the individual golfer. So what I thought I would do is I would have a look at um, one of the best, if not the best golfer of all time and see what he does in his golf swing. Now, I am not saying that players should copy this uh, in detail. I'm looking at the principles that he puts into the golf swing, how he does that, but it's a, it's a way of correcting some of the uh, misunderstandings that some people are putting into their coaching uh, for the golf swing. Here's a player with three positions, just three, address, top of backswing and, and impact. Now obviously the player starts with a very solid uh, address position. There's nothing particularly outstanding uh, about his address position. It's very solid, it's balanced. The weight is probably 50-50 uh, or a little bit more onto the back foot because it's a, a driver. Then he goes to the top of the backswing and you can see that the weight transfer exists there. And you can see that it moves the upper body. Doesn't necessarily move much of the lower body, uh, but it takes the club back and the weight goes back. The top body half weight goes back with it, but it does not go outside of the trailing hip. On the downswing, we see a, an equal transfer of, of weight. Uh, the potential energy that was created at the top of the backswing is transferred into kinetic energy down through the point of impact. But we can see that there isn't a huge difference uh, in the, between the address position and the impact position. But in all cases, the important aspect is that the club movement leads the weight transfer, not the other way around. Uh, a lot of people say you start the downswing with a huge body slide and then you drop the arms. This player is not doing it and mess, most great players don't do that. Most great players start the downswing with an arms drop. So the, the club head is going and the weight is then following that um, as, as the player comes down into the point of impact. The weight in the golf swing should follow the golf club. Club goes back, weight goes back. Club stops, weight stops. Club comes down, weight comes down. It's the sequence there that's important, not the, the quantities of weight transfer. It's when it's done and, and why it's done. And the object is to get both body halves moving, still moving, as the club head goes through the point of impact. If we compare the address with the point of impact, the conditions we see would suggest that the top body half orientation is more rotational than lateral. It does The leading hip has displaced, but it's only fractionally ahead of where it was at address, and the head has actually gone down and is behind where it was at the, ad at the address position. So these are some of the issues that I think need clarification when people are studying the golf swing, when people are learning the golf swing. The trouble is the golf swing happens so very quickly that it's difficult to get a proper analysis of it. And some people with, you know, their own vested interests would have you believe that their system is correct. Huge bottom half weight transfer, or even in some cases, no weight transfer at all uh, on the backswing. I hope this has been useful. I hope it encourages players to study the, the, the player, the, the swings of better players and to get a really good understanding of what the players what the great players actually do in the golf swing. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.